So what was your number two then? If that was your number one. My number two is your number one. Oh, melodrama. This is when we did yep. our, our mid year, the, these were at, at the middle, and I was like, there's no way that we're gonna get through the year with these two still being the top two. And we did. Which I yeah. think just speaks to yeah, the quality. <laughs> so I, I want I'll I'll let you take the lead on talking about melodrama then. Uh I mean honestly, this is an interesting record because if you look at uh all the outlets. Some people have this song, this album top five on their list. Some people have this in the 40s. Everyone knows it's, it's worth honoring, but the range is all over the place. And I think that really speaks to uh, just overall personal taste, honestly. Yeah. Um, but what you can't deny is uh, what Lord actually does on this album. And it's Lord is a pop star who became super famous at a very young age, of course, with, uh, you know, when Royals busted out when. Uh, was it 2013 so it was, or yep. 2014 it was a while ago um 2013 and she kind of went away since then and she comes back a little older a little more wizened more experienced now but she still kind of preserves her youth and tries to grapple with that on the record despite now being really famous and uh it's really a shame that green light and supercut weren't bigger hits uh, yeah Honestly, it's just kind of weird that it didn't happen. Age of streaming, I just you know you just you, you would have banked on that, but it didn't go really, really go that way. And then liability, such a valid. Um, the Louvre uh, has some great wordplay, and then uh, Perfect Places is poppy as hell. But I, oh. I, I that's probably my favorite song on the record. Honestly, it's a little corny, but I, I really really love it. Um, yeah, it's just it's probably the most. Uh, it, not even probably it's the most uh, important like pure pop music in the traditional sense record no doubt um yeah i'm being lord still really young she's about 21 22 like really happy to see her career as it continues to grow you know especially for someone so young it's easy when you're writing an album that's mostly focused on um like the ending of a relationship the breakup and the post like the aftermath of it it's very easy to make these songs be grating and whiny and just very sad and lord takes such a different perspective on it i mean like green light is basically about being the okay to move on and move forward and have a life like she delves in and out of the emotional highs of this record with such grace and you know a song like the louvre it's so different than any other song on the album and any pop song you'll ever hear because it basically takes a chorus out and replaces it with a, you know, a sound, a drum beat. That, uh, that was Jack Antonoff incarnate, that yeah, song. Exactly. And it, it's just, I think it, it really pushes the boundaries of pop songs in 2017 and moving forward and just writing an album in general there's we talked about it a lot so we don't need to belabor it but definitely a, a fantastic album i'm glad that we each uh, had it so high on our list